So uh, today I've got a uh, digital lux meter that we're going to have a look at. This one is branded as uh, Hold Peak. And uh, although it says on the front it's 1 to 400,000 lux, uh, you'll see that this is the 881E model. And on the back, it tells us that the 881E, in fact, has a range of 1 to 3,000 lux, which is fine. Uh, and But otherwise, everything else between the two uh, meters is, uh, is identical as far as I can tell. Um, and uh, in, including the weight. <laughs> so everything is identical. And let's... Uh, Let's break into the box here. Okay. So, uh, oh, that's nice. It comes with a, uh, a case. That's all there is in there. Nice case. I like that. I'll have to clean up the stitching a little bit, but otherwise, can't complain. Uh, now, I did get this meter, uh, before I go further, I did get this meter uh for evaluation to review as part of the Amazon Vine program. So inside the uh, the case here, we've got the uh, the meter. It's all wrapped up in plastic, so we'll trust that it's totally brand new. Uh, a pair of batteries. It's always nice when they include that. A, uh, a screwdriver, because of course, I really wonder why screwdrivers are included because I think anybody that would buy these advanced meters probably has lots and lots of these things. What else do I have here? I have a 20% uh, discount for my next purchase. Okay, well, don't need that. And then the operation manual. So, so lots of features here on the Lux meter, so we'll get into that in a minute, but uh, maybe because it won't be that exciting, I will uh, open it up and put the batteries in, put that off, I'm sure you don't want to see me putting the batteries in, it's nice that uh, there's a cover here, cover comes off, has some string so that you don't lose it like that. And this uh, it rotates, it only rotates one degree, but it rotates all the way around, which is a good handy thing so that you can point this at your light and still see the reading on the front here. So that's nice. And uh, we'll compare this, I do have another uh, Lux meter, so we'll do a little bit of a comparison. Although these things tend to move around a lot, um, so they don't tend to stay stable. But anyways, let's uh, let's get the batteries in and see what it does. Okay, one of the things that I'm fussy about, and I'm happy to say, with this uh, unit, the battery compartment is fastened down uh, and it has a brass, um, I don't know what to call that, a brass ring here where the screw goes in. And uh, the reason why I'm fussy about that is because I really hate the units where the screw goes directly into the plastic because uh, that ends up just chewing up the plastic uh, after a few insertions of batteries. And so these, uh, these metal rings, this brass ring, is, is really, it, I, I have to say I find it a nice touch because, and it's worth noting, just because all manufacturers don't do that. So you can see here that we've got uh, the brass ring that I like to see, and this takes two AAA batteries. And uh, just pop them in there. And then we can put the battery door back on. I know this is probably the most exciting thing you've ever seen in your lives. Okay. I'm sure you're thrilled to hear my sarcasm too. 
Okay. Get that done. And now we can turn it on. Ta da! It works. Okay. Interestingly enough, this reads not only the, uh, the Lux, but it also reads the ambient temperature. So I guess that's useful, although uh, I'm not sure that I would reach out for my Lux meter in order to check the temperature, and I'm not sure where the sensor is. But uh, in any case, uh, we can have it set to Lux. I'm not sure what that did. It's uh, can convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It says it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit in here. I don't think it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Uh, light. Oh, that's nice. Illuminated display. Um, so let's uh, let's do a little more here. Okay, I'm just going to put that down. And we're going to figure out what else we can do with this. So let's uh, turn the unit on. This unit has a ton of features. Um, so I'm just going to put it on the background here. Uh, and so you can see I've got the cover on. And so because it's got the cover on, it's not really reading any light. Um, I need to angle this. That's a little better. Can see that covers on so it's not really reading anything if i take the cover off now you can see that it's starting to to show a reading there but there's a lot of other features here first of all handy enough we've got a backlight and so the backlight can help and the backlight doesn't really change the value now one of the things that's really nice is that this unit is auto ranging i mean you can do manual ranging but it's also auto ranging so i'll, I'll leave the light on because it makes it easier to see i think on the video now um, some of the things this unit can do so you can adjust the range uh, you can put it into sort of a manual range mode the other thing that it can do uh, is it's got a mode where it can record um, a reading. So let's uh, kind of record a lower reading. I'll cover that up a little bit. You can kind of see that uh, now it's 251. Oh. Okay, let's maybe turn the light off. There we go. 400, 176. And so if I press rec it stores the value now if i hold this down for a long period of time you can see it's that's the reading that it has in memory three and uh, there's other memories here memory two memory one i think it has about 20 memories so that's useful if you've got a few things you've got to measure and you want to save them uh, it also has uh, can press that again to get out of that mode. Um, we can press, uh, what is this here? Max min. And what that does is that'll show the max reading and the min reading. Okay, and so that's not, uh, well, that is a live reading. And so uh, that's sort of uh, very handy. That's back to live. Let's go to max here. So if I'm just going to raise this up towards the light. Okay. And now uh, you can see that it's showing the maximum reading that it achieved. So that's more intuitive and more the way I would expect the meter to, uh, to work as compared to... Uh, another light meter that I have, which unfortunately the peak hold function does not exactly work that way. So I really like the max min there. And uh, go 
back to normal. And of course, I think we can clear the Maxman by holding it down. Okay. Then there's what's called a relative feature. So you can see that I can sort of, I can say, um, if I kind of cover this up a little bit and the reading kind of drops into the 80s and stuff like that, and I press the rel button, now that becomes a zero point, and as the light increases, it's all based on that zero point. So that's kind of neat if you're trying to figure out how much brighter one area is than another area, right? Kind of will help you do the math. And then you just press that again and the rel goes away. Um, now I'm usually using it in foot candle mode, sorry, in Lux mode, <laughs> sorry. Um, but you know, there is also a foot candle setting here. And so you can press FC and uh, it switches to foot candles and you can see the FC in the display. So it'll do that if you want. Uh, like I say, I generally just use it on Lux. Uh, that's totally fine. And, uh, you know, if we want to measure how much light is reflecting, for example, off the table, we can turn it around. You know, we have that. We can turn on the backlight. And if it was dark, that would help us see. Very nice. There's also a bit of a gauge here across the top kind of like simulating a, a little bit of a, a needle, if you will. Uh, um, I'm not sure exactly sure how useful that is. Um, you know, if I make this, if I get it super bright here, um, maybe you can see that. But uh, I like that it's auto ranging because um, it's always irritating with these manual range things once they uh, once they kind of hit their peak you don't get anything anymore and you got to figure out how to get into the right range you know that's uh, whatever the reading is times 10 and times 100 and I'm not exactly sure what this range is all about it's probably tenths of a lux and uh, hundredths of a lux, so we're way, way over here, so this can be used to measure some very, um, uh, very small amounts of light, and so you can see that it's showing over range at this point. And then, uh, try and remember how to get this to auto again. Okay, turning it off and on, puts it into auto again. So, so overall, you can see I put the thing through all of its paces. Um, <clears throat> I can't really comment for accuracy because uh, I don't have um, what I would consider to be a super accurate uh, uh, light meter to compare it against. But what I will do, just... Uh, just for interest sake, is I've got this uh, Dr. Meter light meter, which I got a while back. Um, and uh, it also has a cover. I'll turn it on. And now I have to set the range here. Uh, with that button. So the Dr. Meter, these are close to each other. Dr. Meter is reading in the, you know, 520s, and you can see that the value jumps around uh, constantly. And uh, the hold peak is, uh, is pretty steady, which I like. Uh, you know, that kind of instills a little more confidence in me about the, uh, the accuracy of the meter. Of course, just as I say that, it starts to jump around on its own. But uh, all in all, it seems pretty steady. Uh, I do prefer the way in which the Max and the Min uh, works. I think that the uh, the hold um, the hold works exactly the way you'd expect it to. Uh, it holds 
the value at the moment you press that button. Uh, the relative reading is a nice touch. You can see that's jumping around. And that's uh, pretty steady. So the difference here is that, uh, of course, you can separate the, the sensor here from how you're holding this, whereas in this unit, you're going to have to move the sensor around and the sensor is attached to the rest of it. But uh, I don't think that's a huge, uh, a huge imposition. Anyhow, um, what was I saying? The hold operates the way you'd expect it to. And I think the relative measurement uh, feature is also another nice touch. And one of the things you can't tell, there's a, a nice feel to the, to the edges here. The, uh, the yellow is a, a smooth plastic, but the black parts have a bit of a rubbery feel to them, although the black part up here is a smooth plastic. So it's, uh, it's nice to hold in your hand. It's, uh, it's a good size. It's, uh, at least for my hand, you know, not too, not too big, not too small. Uh, you can get a pretty decent grip on it. Um, so I have to say, as, uh, as meters go, this is now going to be my new go-to meter. I really like this. It, it's, uh, it's, it's very impressive. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and please do subscribe.